Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how it's possible to blow your own sail. Now this all started with a video that went viral on the internet that shows a janitor using a leaf blower to blow an umbrella and it propels him forward. Now after this, because of that, I made a video that showed how this is impossible. Okay, three, two, one. Doesn't go anywhere. But now take the board off. And then finally I showed that if you use a leaf blower blowing on a flat cell like this and try to go forward, you can't go forward at all. Three, two, one. Doesn't work, <laughs> not going anywhere. But the problem with this setup that I showed before is that I was using a flat cell. But what happens if you use a more traditional cell that's curved? Now let's see what happens when I use a cell that directs a lot of the air backwards. So I've just put a box on here and I'm gonna turn on the fan and see if it can actually blow itself forward. So let's see what happens when I turn it on now. Three, two, one. There it goes. So this is weird, we've undeniably proven that if you have a curved cell that directs the wind backwards, then you can actually blow yourself forward with your own fan. Let me show you how this is working. Let's say that this ball right here is a particle of air. So if I don't have a cell on this and turn it on, it goes this way. That's because the blades are hitting air and throwing the air this way. And so if the air goes this way, it has to have something to push against, so it pushes against the fan this way. And so if air gets thrown this way, then the vehicle moves this way. But now when we put a cell on it that throws the air backwards, so what happens is first the air hits the blade, so the vehicle starts to move backwards this direction. But then the air hits the cell and bounces back this way, so the vehicle ends up moving this direction. So the initial momentum of the air hitting the fan blades does cause it to move backwards like this, but then it hits the cell and then it goes forward. And because the air keeps going backwards, it keeps going forward. So what this means is you don't need to think about which direction the fan is pointed. You just need to worry about which direction the air is shooting out of. For example, I have here the world's most useless leaf blower. So the direction in which it's blowing, I have it curved in a tube and blowing out the back. So what this does is completely turn around the airflow so that it's shooting behind it instead of in front of it. Okay, now let's see which direction this goes. Here we go. Three, two, one. So this device should help you start to fully realize what forces are at play when you're directing air. Wherever the air is shooting out of, you can just picture like there's somebody pushing right there. And if I change the thrust direction like this, then it's like there's a force pushing in this direction, so it'll just kind of make it spin in a circle. This is the same reason why when you have a hose and turn it on, it shoots the hose backwards. Because it's like there's somebody pushing right there on the hose. The real thing that's generating that force is the momentum of the fluid changing direction right here and shooting back that direction, which push, pushes the whole vehicle in this direction. Once you realize that this is just a problem of which direction the air is coming out of, it makes it extremely simple to understand. Of course you can blow your own cell. If you turn the cell so that all the air is going backwards, then you can blow yourself forward as if you just turned your fan around. But the problem with using a cell like this is it's a lot bigger and so the air is not moving as fast and you have the fan blowing into itself still and so you're kind of blocking the air coming out of it and so you don't get a real efficient method to blow the air backwards. The most efficient way to blow the air backwards is just to turn your fan around or to use a completely sealed tube that turns the direction of air the other direction. In fact, this method of turning the air whatever direction you want it is already in use in fighter jets. Specific fighter jets can turn the direction of thrust whatever way they want it, even so that they can hover in mid-air. So in trying to blow your own sail, it doesn't really matter which direction the fan is blowing, it just matters which direction the air ends up going once it hits the sail. So in the end, was the video with that guy blowing into the umbrella fake or real? 
Well, I'm still going to say it's fake because the amount of thrust he got from that leaf blower just wasn't enough to move that fast. Especially when using an umbrella, which didn't very efficiently direct the flow backwards, there's no way he could get that amount of thrust to move that fast. And also, if you're wondering if you could use a cloth sail to blow yourself forward, remember that the Mythbusters almost got this to work. And also, Bruce Yaney shows how you can use a cloth sail. It doesn't work as well as one like this, but you can use a cloth sail to also propel yourself forward. So as long as you're directing air backwards, you can get yourself to move forward by blowing a fan on it, but it's not very efficient. And thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet and hit the bell so you can be notified when I release my latest video. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.